Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss time response analysis. Time response analysis. What is time response analysis? What is time response? Time response is the output variation of the system with respect to time by applying the standard test signals by applying the standard test signals that is time response is the output variation of the system with respect to time time response is the output variation of the system with respect to time by applying the sta standard test signals by applying the standard test signals here the uh, standard uh, test signals are impulse impulse step ramp parabolic these are standard test signals and their time domain and uh, s domains are likewise first of all impulse impulse signal for impulse signal uh, it is denoted by delta of t it is denoted by delta of t and in case of time dom in case of uh, s domain uh, s domain equal to laplace transform of time domain that is laplace transform of uh, the input uh, response that is r of t equal to r of s that is that is nothing but laplace of delta t equal to 1 the waveform is here it is the impulse waveform it is impulse waveform and coming to step step r position step r position test signal it is denoted by u of t and laplace transform of u of t is 1 by s it is the step signal standard step signal and coming to the ramp signal or velocity signal it is denoted as u in t into u of t t into u of t laplace transform of uh, t into u of t is nothing but 1 by s square this is the ramp signal or velocity signal next to parabolic or acceleration signal parabolic or acceleration signal that is nothing but t square by 2 into u of t t square by 2 in t into t square by 2 into u of t and laplace transform of t square by 2 equal to 1 by s cubed 1 by s cubed and this is the parabolic signal parabolic signal here uh, s is a differentiator 1 by s is integrator s is differentiator uh, treated as differentiator 1 by s is treated as integrator the integrator and one more thing is here by by integrating this impulse signal we can get the step signal we can get step signal and by integrating step signal we can get ramp signal and by integrating ramp signal we can get parabolic signal parabolic signal and by differentiating this parabolic we can get a ramp signal by differentiating the ramp signal can get a step uh, can get step signal and by by differentiating the step signal we can get a impulse signal impulse signal and uh, here here uh, integrating the impulse is step and integrating the step is ramp and integrating ramp is parabolic integrating ramp is parabolic or uh, differentiating of parabolic is ramp differentiate of ramp is step st differentiate of step is impulse differentiate of step is impulse okay and time response total time response equal to it is a combination of transient response plus steady state response it is a combination of transient response plus steady state response what is transient response what is steady state response transient response is also called as natural response or zero input res response or initial response or free response or free response it is a transient response is it is that part of the response which goes to zero when time t becomes large which goes to zero when time t becomes large this is transient response transient response here for example if it is a final value if the equation if the waveform is likewise up to this point it is a 
transient response it is a transient response after this it is a final response final response are steady state steady state response steady state response steady state response that means uh, uh, what is transient response means when the t becomes large when the t becomes large the response is zero t becomes large the response is zero the, here there is no response that means the response is constant the response is not constant that means when the t becomes large the response is constant so in this uh, transient response uh, it is uh, rising response in this it is trans in the in this uh, transient region it is the rising response so that's why here speed of the response is analyzed here the speed of response is analyzed and here in this uh, next one steady state response this is the steady state response that is the final response final response and it is the part of the response when the it is part of the response which is fixed with the time it is fixed with time uh, here uh, time also increases here uh, time increases the response is fixed there is no change in response here uh, rising here uh, it change uh, in the rising form here it is no change it is a constant that is it is fixed in this so uh, steady state response is the response is the part of the response which is fixed with the time which is fixed with the time t tends to infinity t tends to infinity that means uh, time t tends to infinity the response is fixed simply the response is fixed in a steady state response so that's why here accuracy of the system accuracy of the system is analyzed accuracy of the system is analyzed in, in case of transient response speed of the system is analyzed and in case of a steady state response accuracy of the system is analyzed very very important the two, uh, two points and coming to the next uh, next one theorems initial value theorem and final value theorems initial value theorem and final value theorems they are, these are also very very important initial value theorem and final value theorem uh, coming to the initial value theorem initial value theorem is c of 0 initial value c of initial value is nothing but 0 c of 0 equal to in, in time domain limit t tends to 0 c of t c of 0 equal to limit t tends to 0 c of t in case of s domain limit s tends to infinity s into c of s that means c of 0 equal to limit t tends to 0 into c of t in case of time domain it is a uh, time domain in case of s domain limit uh, s tends to infinity s into c of s and the condition for uh, applying this uh, initial value theorem the initial value theorem is applied only this uh, initial value theorem is applied only when the number of poles of c of s are when the number of poles of c of s are more than number of zeros number of poles of c of s are must be more than number of zeros that means uh, in, in c of s poles must be greater than zeros then only the initial value theorem can be applied and coming to the final value theorem coming to the final value theorem final value is c of infinity c of infinity equal to in case of time domain t tends to infinity c of t c of t and in case of s domain limit s tends to 0 s into c of s into c of s s into s into c of s that is a uh, final value theorem is applied when all the poles of s into c of s lie in the left half of the s plane that means the uh, final value theorem is applied applied when all the poles of s into c of s are lie in the left hand side poles of the s plane that means system must be stable so final value theorem is applied only the systems which are stable the, the systems which are stable then only we can uh, apply this final value theorem for uh, unstable systems and uh, marginal stable systems we cannot apply the final value theorem in case of initial value theorem it is applied only when the number of poles are more than the number of zeros okay otherwise we can't apply initial value theorem that means uh, for marginal stable systems and unstable systems final value theorem can't be applied can't be applied and here the example 
he has given transfer function equal to 10 into s plus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 5. Find initial value and final value of step input. Step input. We know transfer function equal to c of s by r of s. Here r of s is given as step input. For step input, r of s equal to 1. 1. That means uh, uh, for this uh, r of s equal to 1 by s. For step input, r of s equal to 1 by s. If we apply 1 by s, c of s equal to s into transfer function or tra transfer function equal to transfer function equal c of s equal to transfer function into r of s. Uh, that means uh, r of s that is 10 into s plus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 5. S 10 into s plus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 5 into r of s that is 1 by s. That is uh, uh, s into c of s means or uh, transfer function. s into c of s means transfer function. Here uh, initial value theorem initial value equal to c of 0 that is limit s tends to infinity s into c of s s into c of s that is limit s tends to infinity 10 by s plus 2 10 into s plus 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 5 that is uh, here uh, s as common 10 into s plus 2 by 5 s, s plus 2 by here s is common uh, 1 plus 2 by s and here s square here also s common here also s common that means s square 1 plus 1 by s 1 plus uh, 5 by s that is uh, uh, here s and s ca cancel when we apply this s tends to infinity that means uh, here 1 by s 1 by s uh, if s, inf s tends to infinity 1 by s tends to 0 1 by s tends to 0 that means apply 0 0 into something 0 so you can get initial value as 0 and final value final value is c of infinity that equal to limit s tends to 0 s into c of s simply for step input s into c of s equal to transfer function only s into c of s s into c of s equal to transfer function for step input for step input that is tend into uh, here uh, 10 into s plus 2 by s plus uh, 1 into s plus 5 that means up, uh, substitute uh, 0 in the place of s it is 10 by 0 10 into 0 plus 2 by 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 5 that equal to answer is 4 it is uh, and also final value is also called as dc gain dc gain is nothing but final value dc gain is nothing but final value and one more uh, problem is uh, trans function equal to 10 by s square plus 4 find initial value and final value for a unit step for a unit step s of uh, s into c of s equal to trans function only initial value theorem initial value equal to limit s tends to infinity s into c of s that is uh, limit s tends to infinity s into c of s means nothing but trans function that is 10 by s square plus 4 that is uh, when we apply infinity we can get 0 and final value Final value for this is 10 by s square plus 4 means it is a marginally stable system. It is a marginally stable, uh, stable system. Why? Because s square plus 4 equal to 0 means uh, the roots are plus or minus 2i. Roots are plus or minus 2i. Here uh, s square plus 4 equal to 0 and s equal to plus or minus 2i. That means system is marginally stable marginally stable that means final value theorem cannot be applied this uh, cannot be applied for this system because it is system is marginally stable system okay okay thank you friends in the next video i will discuss uh, remaining topics of control systems okay